before we get there, we have to get to that closing bell. We're going to do that in our options insight segment next 40 minutes that closing bell want to get you up to speed with the day's options trading really pleased to say that alan neckman of course joining me here today talk to me sort of about what sort of the technical sentiment indicators you're noticing sort of within these equity markets that are giving some relief here well i'm purely a price guy and i've got so many positives we could fill that whole segment with it number one gas is down 35 days in a row mortgage rates are around the five percent level where we were from 1970 to 2010 so rates are still cheap but then the other factors the vix at three month lows the pleasing pep ratio is down around 15 so that's 35 percent off the january high and more importantly the price action and reaction the s p looks like it wants to fill that gap at 4,000, and we made a bottom base not just in the s but the Nasdaq, the Dow, and the Russell have been trading sideways with no new lows in more than a month. What do you make of a VIX, though, that has not spiked up, but maybe on some of the longer-term averages, has appeared maybe more elevated than we thought? Well, we're at 24. Let's compare to where we were under COVID. We got up to the 80 level. So even with that major spike that we saw in January, the market made its first new lows. Each and every time we've had a higher VIX. That's bullish divergence. That's positive. And in the VIX at 24, that shouldn't scare anybody. That's showing much, much lower uh, fear factor for the market than you're getting the anxiety for people personally. And lastly, I got to talk about the stabilization in the 10-year in the, uh, note. Holding around this 3% level and made that spike high is never tested at three and a half rates are still extremely 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 cheap but are they too volatile or are you finally seeing the bond market as we mentioned earlier settling in and finding its sweet spot exactly and it's not about the journey it's the destination and the destination's always been the same if you look at the futures markets the market's been telling us that we're going to get to about three and three quarters or four percent uh, at the end of the year and then you see rates stabilize around three percent in the short term for 24 25 26 and 27 so the markets are telling us there's going to be stability and that's a very positive sign for stocks okay alan you said taylor we have to get to the trade today let's get to the trade talk to me about it i know that i'd mentioned earlier we're looking at Tesla after the closing bell right. you've a similar sort of derivative play on that Right. I'm looking at Rivian. It's a stock that's traded between 20 and 30, a breakout here above that 30, targets 40. This was a $100 stock in January. Uh, Tesla has broken out of its range from you know 600 to 800. It's right near that top there. So I'm looking for this sector to pop. I'm looking at the October 30 call. Uh, it's trading around six or so, and it's three or $4 in the money. Gives you three months of time for some development in this beaten down sector. Really appreciate it. As always, Alan Neckman, a bullseye option, of course, for joining us here for Options Insight today. Stick with us. We'll be back. More markets coverage is up next. This is Bloomberg. <laughs>